Dear children, welcome back to our class. Today, we will summarize the main topics of chapter 4, Multiplication. As we learned, when we multiply the two numbers, the first number is called multiplicand and the second number by which the multiplicand multiplied is called multiplier and the result is called product. Children, let's take an example of multiplying four digit number by a two digit number. Here, 3460 is the multiplicand and 25 is the multiplier. These numbers we can write in a place value chart. So, 3460 into 25, first we have to multiply 5 with the, all the digits of the multiplicand and 2 with the all the digits of the multiplicand and find their sum. So, what is 5 into 0? Yes, 0. We can write at the ones place. Now, what is 5 into 6? 30. 0 we can write at the tens place and 3 carry over we can write at the hundreds place. Now, what is 5 into 4? 20. 20 plus 3? 23. So, 3 we can write at the hundreds place. 2 carry over we can write at the thousands place. Now, 5 into 3? 15. 15 plus 2? 70. 7 we can write at the thousands place and 10,000 place we can write 1. Next, we have to multiply with the what is 2 into 0? 0. You can write the tens place down 0. Next, 2 into 6? 12. So, 2 we can write at the hundreds place down and 1 carry over we can write the thousands place. Now, what is 2 into 4? 8. 8 plus 9? 8 plus 1? 9. Now, what is 2 into 3? 6. Now, we can find the sum. 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 2 plus 3, 5, then 7 plus 9, 16, 1 carry over, then 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 6, 8. We got our answer 86,500. Children, here is the mind map of chapter 4, multiplication. The main topics are multiplication of large numbers. Here we learn multiplication of three digit numbers by a three digit number and multiplication of four digit number by a two digit number. That we illustrate just now. Our next topic is properties of multiplication. Here we learn order property, grouping property and also we learn multiplication by one and multiplication by zero. And next topic is multiplication by multiples of 10, 100 and thousands. Next topic is multiplication using lattice method. Here we learn how to apply lattice method to find the two numbers with the help of a grid. And next topic is multiplication in real life. Here we learn how to solve problems in real life using multiplication. Our last topic is estimating the product. Here we learned how to round off the multiplication using nearest tens and hundreds. Children, practice a workout problem. See you in the next class. Take care. Bye.